Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting, I don't know if this is going to be a let's play to be honest, it might just end up being a quick look. Uh, there's a bit to this game, uh, I just don't quite know everything about it yet. Uh, and I, I, I you know, I kind of just wanted to do a nice uh, first impressions without really any idea of what the game was or about. Um, I mean, I knew like what I saw from the trailer, it's kind of like... At first glance, I thought this was like another like kind of like Proteus game, which is fine because I absolutely loved Proteus. Um, Proteus was like one of my favorite games um, of what year was that? Um, is that a jump? That's weird. Control jumps, um, and if you hold shift, you can run a little faster. But Proteus was one of my favorite games uh, like of the last couple of years. It was this really nice, serene like gorgeous landscapes and it was just this nice exploration game and I know it caused all these problems of oh it's not really a game uh, which I am not a fan of that discussion and I will not be having that discussion hopefully in this video uh, but this one is a little bit different there is more of a game mechanic uh, if you watch the trailer uh, there's you know hunting and there's like notes we can discover and we just kinda learn more about the area and this game kind of has a little bit more, it's a little more grounded in reality, I guess, than Proteus is. Because, uh, because, oops, sorry about that. Uh, because Proteus was just exploration, and it was kind of just surreal. But this is, I don't know, this feels more like, this feels more like real nature to me in a lot of ways. Like, not to say Proteus wasn't like a... a an interesting look into nature but this one like I actually feel a little bit more of a connection to the place and you know I can think back to times I've gone camping and had views very similar to this uh, this game I believe is $15 and oddly enough it wasn't on sale for its first week out not really sure what that's about but you know I guess not really no reason to look too much into that but just look at like these trees and the mountains and uh, this game is made in the Unreal Engine uh, this game is it's it's uh, made in the Unreal Engine. It's Icewater Games or Icewater. I think it's Icewater Games, not Studios. And like I said, at first glance, it might just seem like oh, you just kind of walk around nature and you enjoy the sights. Which honestly, if it was just that, I think I'd be okay with that. Maybe not paying fifteen dollars for it, um, but it seems like it's more than that. Um, and the reason I say that is because you know I've seen the trailer. These birds don't even care. Oh, now they care. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's getting darker, it looks like. This would be a cool game to do, like, a time-lapse for. Um, but if you hit, uh, like, the inventory button... Uh, so this game gives you no explanation. It just drops you into it. In fact, like, if you hit, like, start, this is what the start screen looks like. You know what I mean? Like, when you pause... And I think this is a really nice touch. You start the game with this, and when you hit play, it just goes. Um, and then, like, you know, settings are some... There's, all there is is resolution options. There's view distance... And then you have like these little things right here that say stuck, get unstuck, which I'm assuming like respawns you out of a, a rock. Uh, still stuck, you can load a backup save, and then you can also uh, save ruined, yeah. Which would be a bummer if that happened in a game like this. Um, controls, very, very simple. Interacting, use tool, swap tool, look around, jump, toggle run, open book, oh, books, run, move, move, move. So, all pretty simple. Uh, but yeah, this game's in Unreal, uh, which is kind of interesting, just because whenever you think of, like, un games made in the Unreal Engine, you don't think of, you know, these beautiful, serene, you know, scenic areas. And I can think of a lot of people that this game would be perfect for, um, but I see a little shiny thing over there. Oh, but yeah, there's uh, an inventory button. Oh, you can take a net. What? Densities, growth, facades. Strata of mountains, soils, rock, giant trees, far born, far dying, living long to leave, idolins everlasting. Oh, I meant to see what that meant. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. I really like this game, you guys. I dig it. Oh, we're hungry though. Okay, so this game does have some survival elements to it. Oops, I did not mean to hit that. Um, but I can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, but let's just take a look at this stuff again. I think this is a camera? Maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. That's what I, you know, they just kind of drop you into it with these tools. They don't really tell you much about it. Or without tools, really. They, they drop you off with nothing. Uh, and then you just kind of, you find your way. But I really want to know what this is about. 
So that's first aid, I'm guessing? I don't know why we have a cell phone either. Seems kind of weird. I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, we, you know, I'm sure, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Now we're really hungry. Whoa. Now it's all foggy. We're gonna starve to death. That would be disappointing. So cold, oh, now we're cold. I wish those little prompts were a bit bigger, but oh well. <gasps> Fishing pole, sweet. That's a pretty good first item to find. So we can just kind of hang out and fish. You know, I think I might actually make a series out of this. I don't know. I might just post this and you guys can kind of... And I, maybe I'll try to record a second one and we'll see how it goes. Oh, shit. Do I need a... It's hard to tell if there's... It's really hard to tell if like there's a line or what... But I like the, I just like the simple shapes of this game. You know, it looks really nice. Hmm. I don't know if like we need to find bait or, cause I feel like we're just like throwing, I don't even know what it is that we're throwing out there. Let's see if we can get a better look at what we have maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Like we have this globe here, we have a backpack. What does it mean? <gasps> oh, I could type stuff. Day one. I found a fishing. Shit. I really like this, I just don't really know what it's for. Fishing pole. I think. That's kind of cool. It'd be really cool if you could like find other people's diary entries. Maybe that is what happens. Can I write here? Okay, you only write in that one, I guess. And then these are other diary entries I'm assuming you find. Yeah. Cool. All right. I still don't really understand how the fishing pole works though. Cause see, now it just sinks. Maybe I should just watch the pull. Like maybe it'll pull forward when I catch something. You know, I wish an indie developer would come out and just make like a really good fishing game. I mean, there's ridiculous fishing, fishing which is really, really good. But, you know, just kind of like a cool, oh, hey, we did it. Okay, cool, tab. Um, so there we go, we caught a fish. There's our inventory. And we can eat it, but I imagine we probably want to cook it. I'm going to eat it anyway. Feeling pretty hungry still, but we're doing a little better. So this will tell us like where we're at emotionally. Oh, here we go. How did I get? Oh, that's the medical one. The only one I didn't click on actually does something for me. So find nourishment to fill your stomach. Prolonged time spent starving will result in death. Estimate time, so we have no idea how long. Due to the distance from Beacon, your vitals are subject to extreme changes. Whoa, what? That's craziness. I, you know, I'm gonna have to do a let's play on this game. It might be short, but I really like this. I definitely wanna play more of it. Um, but let's try to catch another fish. That way we can survive a little bit longer. Hopefully. And I, I hope there's more music. Like, this track is really, really nice, but it's also a little bit, it's a little repetitive. Like, I'd like to hear more music or no music. I'd actually be totally fine with silence. Um, so let's eat this other fish. I ate some fish, and we're no longer hungry. Oh, so we can explore a little bit more. And uh, I'll try to keep these uh, videos a bit shorter also. Just, you know, because... Because I can, I guess. I, I want to explore those mountains, though. Like, really bad. Movement is kind of slow. I mean, I'm sure you guys have noticed that. But I don't think I mind it. It's a Oh, shit, I'm freezing. Get out of the water. All right, so we got to find, like, an axe so we can cut down trees? I don't know. It doesn't really seem like there's crafting in this game, which is fine. Um, 
It's just, I think that's the thing that interests me the most about this is, you know, in, in lieu of games like, you know, Rust and Daisy and Minecraft and Unturned and like, you know, in the forest, all these games have been coming out and there hasn't really been a single one that's interested me. And it kind of took this very indie, uh, I mean, I'm sure people will call it dumb and pretentious and boring. Ooh, mushrooms, sweet. Uh, but I just, I don't know, it's it's so, like, its art style is simple and its gameplay is simple. You know, like, I always get turned off by, like, crafting in games like Rust and Daisy, where, you know, building things is just really frustrating. Uh, but in this game, I don't mind it at all. Um, at least not yet. But if it turns out, like, well, you need to cut down 800 trees so that you could make a building, then I probably won't really enjoy this game as much. I'm just trying to click on stuff at this point. But yeah, like I said, as far as I can tell, there really isn't much of a like a crafting interface. And that, you know, this game would probably benefit, and it's such a minor little detail, but it would benefit from having like a reticle, because it's difficult to tell what I'm pointing at. But, you know, not having a reticle also kind of adds to the atmosphere. Or I should say specifically, having a reticle takes away from the atmosphere. But I've seen I've played plenty of games that like are pretty smart with how they do their radical stuff. I'm trying to think of a specific game right now. Um, but there's, you know, games that have a very, very, you know, translucent, tiny, out of the way uh, reticle. And that's all you need. Um, just so I know what I'm pointing at, but eh, I don't really mind it. But I imagine it's, look at this grass just kind of flip. So there's a little bit of this stuff which is kind of a bummer. There's like these weird textures that are just kind of floating around. I don't know what's up with that. But you know, part of it might just be that it's, that's how the game is supposed to be, I don't know. So I'm not well rested anymore and I'm getting hungry. What's this? Let's look like sticks. It's a tinder, so I can start a fire. All right. The music kind of stopped there. Oh, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, there wasn't any music playing uh, at night. So, I don't know. And I, I want, oh, there might be snow in this game. Uh, I'm really excited just to see everything this game has to offer. Like, I'm very excited. Might as well just keep grabbing mushrooms. It doesn't seem like we can grab enough, or like too many. Um, oh, we have rotten mushrooms. Let's get rid of them. We can eat. Oh, God. Okay, so it takes a lot to eat. Uh, so let's write off another reminder. Uh, note: mushrooms can be rotten. I kind of just want to do this. You know, there's, you know, like when you when you bought games, and I don't know if ga games really still do this because I mostly buy digital stuff now. But you know, games like would come with little books. You know, like their instruction books, and that's that's still common practice. I mean, sometimes now it's just a sheet has controller options and stuff like that, or controller uh, layout, button layouts. But, um, you know, at the end of it, they would have a thing back in the day, like where it says notes, and you could just kind of write stuff down, you know, about the game. And there are some games that I was like, why would I ever need to do that? Oops, I clicked out of the game. I don't know how I managed to do that. But now it's, okay, there it goes. It was like running whoop slow for a minute, and I was worried that I ruined it. I ruined this perfect moment. Oh, there we go. There's a nice change in music, and I really dig the acoustic. Kind of reminds me of Last of Us, which is kind of cool. I mean, I don't feel like very many people uh, utilize like string instruments in uh, soundtracks or really anything, for that matter. But I'm kind of just enjoying getting lost in the woods here. I can dig it. And the nice thing too about this game, and I didn't notice or mention it earlier, is when it gets dark, it's not impossible to see. Which, like, I absolutely hate in games like Minecraft, or all those games that I listed earlier, where it's just impossible to see anything. Um, and it's just like, well, you, you should have made camp, or you should have made torches. It's like, well, I didn't. And I understand that it's realistic. or, But that's the thing, this is like in the middle of nowhere, so the moon would be shining through enough to where you can actually see. I wonder how big this world is. 
Yeah, just listen to that. Ah, oh, it sounds so nice. I, I Yeah, this is totally going to be a Let's Play. But like I said, I don't know how long it'll go for. But just... I really dig this atmosphere, and... I like talking over it. <laughs> which is kind of funny. Let's see if those mushrooms went bad, actually. Because um, I'm curious if they all go bad. I don't know, maybe it's just... It might just be when you pick them, some are rotten and some aren't. That would make the most sense. But yeah, this might also just be a good series for me to just kind of vent about things. Just talk about how things are going with me. Whoa, what's that? Is that supposed to be my shadow? Why is my shadow so huge? Oh shit. Is that a bear? I think there are bears in this game, but I'm not positive. But I thought I saw one in the trailer. Why is my shadow so huge? Maybe I'm a bear. Oh man, then this, this game would be like Shelter then, which that's what this reminds me of. In style, not really in gameplay. This reminds me of Shelter. That game where you play as a badger trying to guide her kids, which that game was awesome. Look at that bear. Why is that bear just gliding around without a walk animation? Is it because he's too far away or is it because this game is... You know, and this game isn't early access either. That's another thing worth mentioning. This is a release game, um, which I haven't said yet. But at, you know, to kind of uh, understand the difference. Wait, is that a tower? What is that? But yeah, it seems like on these hilly areas, uh, the game kind of falls apart a little bit. That's okay. All right. Well, I just want to stay away from that floating, flying bear. It's kind of terrifying. I don't want any trouble, Bear, Taffy. You just do your thing and I'll do my thing. And then when I inevitably get a bow and arrow, I'm going to come on you down. I thought I saw another one, though, which is making me really nervous. But yeah, this art style, like the pastel colors and the, you know, large shapes, uh, reminds me a lot of, of Shelter. And that's not to say Shelter invented this art style. It's just very similar. So this game is like a cross of Proteus. <laughs> Look at this. It's kind of a bummer that they just float around like that. But you know, these steep hills can cause all sorts of trouble. So let's just go up here. We'll climb up this tower and we'll end the episode. We'll get a nice view. Um, but yeah, this game's like a mix of Proteus, Shelter, and uh, like, I guess Rust? But I haven't really played far enough to know how much, you know, survival stuff really comes into play. There is grass growing on... Okay. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> I found a thing. <gasps> Binoculars. That's so appropriate because now... I, okay, I really, really like this game. So is that a fox? A floating fox. But I'm not going to be too critical on this because I do really like what it is. So sweet, we got binoculars and those will actually come in handy. Um, let's... um. Let's make, what should we do here? What did I want to do? There was something specific I wanted to do and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, because it, it wasn't, I wanted to change the view distance. Let's see how big of a difference it makes. Did it make much of a difference? It was like there before. Ah, yeah. It doesn't seem like it changes the view distance as much as it just kind of turns down the the amount of stuff. Man, my, I mean, this game... Oh, shit, it's raining. Oh, uh, no. It's a nice rain, rain sound effect. Oh, man, the colors. So pretty. The only problem, like, I have is these clouds seem so close. And they might be, because I'm up, like, on this mountain. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. I think this is a good spot to end it. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this first episode of... God, I need to learn how to say this name if I'm going to pl let's play it. Idolin? I'm going to figure that out. And I'm going to figure out what it means for next episode. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this first episode of Idolin. Um, you know, it's not the usual thing that people let's play, but I really dig it, so I'm going to keep playing it. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm actually going to do like a time lapse here, I think. So hope you enjoy that. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll put a link to the game in the description below. So if you want to play it for yourself, which I highly recommend you do, 
uh, feel free to click on it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.